Hi and welcome to WW Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're reviewing NXT from the 2nd of November to the 16th of November. Yes, they're very behind. <laughs> uh, and this is the road to Toronto. That doesn't seem like that long ago with Mickey J. No. Sorry, two yeah. months, three months, two months ago. Three months ago. Near the end of January. Oh my god, it's near the end of January. Yeah. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> Life goes on. Yeah. <laughs> we're very behind, we're playing catch up. Yes. So. But at least she has some videos to enjoy and you can reminisce with us. Yeah. Even though I watched this last week. <laughs> We're still winning. So I don't know what's happened after this. This is as far as I am on the whole of WWE. <laughs> Anything we haven't recorded, I don't know what's happened. You need to catch up Coral Whitney. I oh, know. Well, I might have watched a couple of Smackdowns that's on the list. You could have done that, I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Okay. I didn't know where I was, so. <laughs> I, I was last. <laughs> <laughs> I was, was last. So, um, so, this is the uh, Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. Yes, but that far behind. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, there's actually a lot of forfeiting going on mm. from November 2nd. Uh, <laughs> there was two, weren't there? Yeah. yeah, there's two. So, we first get um, the first one is meant to be Roderick Strong and Austin Aries, Aries versus TM61. Now, I'm very partial and partial to Austin Aries so I do love him uh, but he had like this fuck off massive like bruised eyes like broken his eye socket so he comes out uh, with Roderick Strong and he's like oh I'm injured we oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and uh, so William Regal comes out and says well you'll have a one-on-one -on -one match to see who wins so you've got Rick Strong versus Shane Form from TM61 and Shane Form wins. I can't really remember the match though. I don't think I paid attention Austin to it. Austin distracted somebody and it all went wrong. Um, but what makes no sense is the next match is DIY versus The Revival. Now, The Revival come out and um, Scott Dawson's on crutches, so he's like, oh no! Help me! Yeah. <laughs> I'm down, I can't get up! They can't <laughs> compete! Why didn't William Regal then come out and say, okay, so the one who's not injured, why can't you wrestle one person from DIY? But no, they just forfeited no, and gave up. No, they just forfeited and gave up. They are tag team champions. That is the second year in a row that tag team champions are no longer in. Tournament. Yeah, so. But then uh, I think he said that, oh, because, no, that's something else later. Don't worry, ignore me. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skipping ahead. But yeah, so. Yeah. That happened, that was a thing. Um, Rich Swan and Noe Jose are out. They, uh, Walkers of Pain beat them. And tag team Can't really be surprised by that. No, but I do love them too. But now Rich Swan is, uh, Cause we're yeah, on. Oh, so it's probably why. Bye bye, Bubs. Bye bye, bye, bye Bubs. I think that's the last time we see him actually. Um, but yeah, Walkers of Pain. Uh, TJ Perkins and Kid. Kota Ibushi, I can't say his last name. Ibushi. 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 <laughs> uh, they were kicked out by Sanity. 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 I actually quite like Sanity. They're a TNA faction. Are they? Interesting. Hmm. No, they're doing alright actually. They haven't done much with them though. Oh really? Yeah, they like they've done little bits and where well, they get kicked out as well later on. Um. So then by November 9th. Uh, <laughs> We end up with DIY versus the Authors of Pain, and the Authors of Pain win. Can't really remember that match, but I'm sure it was not good. Uh, the only thing I know about Authors of Pain is when they did that move on that guy and like, they nearly killed him. Do you remember? Yeah. That video on, the, on Facebook. Yeah. Everyone was like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm not right, they, they have, they've got no nothing behind them. They're, They're like just a shitty version of the shield. Yeah. Right. See, I would like Sanity to taking it but mm. you know it would be a good way to get them like in the picture yeah it's a shame um then we have tm61 versus sanity and this is sanity gets kicked out which is a shame but i think sanity are going for dash and dawson i think how the hell did tm61 beat sanity i can't remember was it so just rolls them up yeah weird Oh, I think he, I think he sneaks around the side of the thing and comes back up. I think he was. I don't know. I can't remember. But TM61 had a massive push since they got there. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're uh, 
Champions. Yeah, be champions soon. Well, they might already be champions. I don't know. This is November. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen anything, so I don't think so. <laughs> um, we then had Ember Moon with Rachel Evers. She's essentially a jobber. Um, but it was actually a decent match for like a showcase of Ember Moon match. So, uh, yeah. It would probably be nice to see Rachel Evers get moved to a bit more of a dominant thing. But that did quite well. And the Revival interfered in a match, apparently. In DIY. So That's it. And uh, he's like, Revival, you've got to put your championship on the line. Yeah. And yeah. that's why they lose it. If I I'm quite yeah. sad about that. Yeah. I quite like the Revival slash mechanics. Yeah, I mean, they weren't actually Dawson and injured. <laughs> no one knows who they are because they changed their names so often. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I still think they're called the Mechanics. Who Carter. are they? What are your names? Why did they come up with that? The mechanics. You, why? Yeah. That's a job, job title. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also had a contract signing. Uh, that was between Shinsuke Nakamura and Samura Ju. Um, yeah. Uh, it was decent. So I like to play it up to, for a uh, contract signing. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It likes to have a little, like, have a go at William yeah. Regal, doesn't it? The thing is about Samara Joe, who doesn't really seem, like, the rest of NXT is, like, this massive group. And Samara Joe and Shinsuke don't really seem, like, in, in the with group. the group. Yeah. It's like a showpiece with two extras. <laughs> I suppose they're very, like, different. Samara yeah. Joe, Joe's character is very different. Yeah. He just naturally has that thing that you focus on him. Yeah. Like he doesn't actually put, like if you watch him, he doesn't put a lot of effort no, in. No, no, he doesn't. just talks, but you yeah. listen to what he says. It's quite. But surely that means it's time for him to go up. I th yeah, I think so. Well, Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens at this match yet, so it's on Toronto. I'll watch it later. Um. So yeah. Moving on to November 16th, um, we had, uh, we started this little thing with the girls. Mm. I think the girls are trying to become a little bit more dominant now that the other girls are gone. Um, it's taken them a year, isn't it? Yeah, it's taken them a while. There hasn't been a dominant female presence. We had like Nia Jackson and then they all went up. Yeah. Um, and it's just been Oscar and I, I, I think they've done this because Oscar isn't a dominant enough in the ring, as a metaphorical, tough, dominant she is, but she's not. She's not going to sell a lot of merch to the young girls yeah. who are watching. She's not a Bailey, <laughs> so. Um, but uh, I think that that's what they're probably going to do with Liv, Liv Morgan. Ugh. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah. Bruh. But one thing I will give Liv Morgan, she's better than Pey Peyton Royce. <laughs> that's that's got to be a plus. Peyton Royce um, is the girl with the flower, isn't it? Yeah. And oh my god, I need, like their entrance, you need to watch it again. The entrance is just. It's gross. Really? Like it was so like trying too hard to be sassy, she kept doing this. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. And then she had a flower. Like, flower in her hip this time. She was like, that. But <laughs> this is probably the best match I've seen them in together. Okay, good. And good. Peyton Royce has a very good submission move. But there's one floor in a submission move. It's on the rope. Oh. You can undo it up to a count out of five. Yeah. But it looked really good. <laughs> and you can't, like, tap out because she's already on the rope, so yeah. technically it's rope break. Oh, that's really yeah. good. But it looks really good. Even the commentators are like, ooh, wow. <laughs> she can only do it to a count of five. <laughs> no, it actually looked really decent. I was sitting there like, and it's Corey Graves. It may be a count of five, but it's effective. He says that a lot, doesn't it? I was pretty much what he said. It's effective. <laughs> but um, obviously, Billy Kay comes out of Peyton Royce. Um, so eventually, Liv Morgan uh, locks into a rolling guillotine choke. I can't remember what that looks like, but she did it. Um, and Billy Kay breaks it up, which means Liv Morgan wins by disqualification. But then we get um, a liar come out and start beating up uh, Billy Kay. I quite like Elia, but you don't see much of her. Um, and then, unfortunately, Amber Moon joins in. <laughs> She's been lowered oh. to their standard. <laughs> so, they're, they're the only other girls, really. If you think about it. That's the whole yeah. Divas division. That pretty the much is the whole, Yeah, that is pretty much the whole Divas division. So, it's a shame. And you've got that girl in um, Sanity. And that's about it. Oh, yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. Rachel Evers, you know. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, 
But I mean, Evermoon just shows everyone else up. She does all that flip stuff. And, uh, but it left Evermoon, Elia, and Liv Morgan in the ring. Yeah! But Tom. surely that means Billy Kay and Payne Royce needs to find someone else to join them. Probably gonna be that blonde girl. What one? The one from Tata. The ones that even Marie. Oh, ooh, everything gold. <laughs> Um, Does she actually say that? I don't know. I feel like she should. <laughs> they can have a nice little feud then. Um, yeah, so... But the match was an improvement. It's like up to Summer A standard now. <laughs> it was decent. Gosh. Yeah. No, like this, I was very impressed with the submission move. So, I think of what we got to remember, yeah, we don't like them, but they are still learning. So, yeah. it might be... Give them time. Yeah. Liv Morgan's better than Peyton Royce anyway, so... They're all fucking annoying. Mm-hmm. Um, Bly Sampson's back. Great. At least I'm really out of tune. <laughs> uh, that was lots and lots of fun. <laughs> um, so much fun that it scarred me and I can't remember the next half of the show. <laughs> uh, this song went on forever as well. No one cared. I was like, no. Oh God. Why? Why? It was like the guitar was out of tune, he was out of tune. It was just... Ugh. This guitar was out for injury. Yeah, <laughs> it was... Just, yeah, so then... We then had a match with Nathan Cruz, and I can't remember this match for me, but it happened. And he won. Yeah. It was just a comeback match where I'm back. Yeah, I can't remember, but I don't remember the match. So then after that, we had the backstage speaker segment with Liv Morgan and Lyra and Ember Moon. And Lyra could talk on the mic. Surprisingly. Yeah, considering she's so new and not profesh, Liv Morgan can't. <laughs> <laughs> and Ember Moon's decent anyway, so... Yeah. Push a line. I think she deserves it best. Um, and then we have CN versus Cedric Alexander, and I don't remember any of this fucking match. A bit of a random main event match. Yeah, really. so it must have been very good. Because <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, Probably just to push. Yeah. Um, yeah, CN. Yeah. Because he won. Oh, I like CN. Yeah. He's decent. Better. But um, yeah, that was NXT. Had lots of fun with that. <laughs> do we rate these? I can't remember what we do. No, I don't think we, we do. We don't, do we? No. It's been a decent run up to Toronto. Yes. It's, it, it's not as dramatic as normal and there's no problem no. rude, but okay. It was very focused around the Dusty Rose thing. Yeah, I think that's what they've kind of panicked and done that, so. Yeah. I would have liked to see more of the Oscar and Mickey James kind of run yeah. up, because there hasn't been anything in all three of these episodes. It's just like, it's happening no, a little bit. Before. Yeah. It's more hype. Yeah. Some smack talk or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we'll be back soon with some more reviews because yes, we know we're behind. <laughs> we will try our best. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Retweet your tumble. Follow us, like us, comment below. Goodbye!